I use this uh, half inch drive. It's a Duralast torque wrench. Um, I, I usually use it for like lug nuts and things like that. Nothing too precise. But when I'm doing that kind of stuff, I wonder, you know, how accurate is this thing? I always have it backed off all the way down below its setting so I don't uh, get the spring to uh, take a set. But uh, I want to kind of test this and see how accurate it is. So in the vise here, I have a, a 17 millimeter Allen wrench and then a 17 millimeter socket. What I got is this Nico torque adapter. These are surprisingly affordable on Amazon. They have all kinds of different uh, brands and everything. Here's the info on it. So what I'm gonna do, <clears throat> put this on here. Now you can uh, set this up. Right now it'll do peak hold. And you can also go through here and set different units. It has a bunch of different units across there that you get by pushing these. And then you can also set this. It has a memory, but it'll, if I set this to 100 foot pounds, it'll give me an LED indicator and a beeping sound to let me know that I'm getting close. So where this is also nice is what if I don't have a torque wrench and I want to make sure my lug nuts are torqued good, but all I have is a ratchet or all I have is a half inch breaker bar. This thing is less expensive and it's very accurate. So now I'm going to dial this up. Oops. Dial this up to 100 foot pounds. So I'm dialed up right to 100 foot pounds. Now we're going to see what happens. Gradually ease into it, only pulling from the end. All right. And it broke at 97 foot pounds. So let's see uh, what we get again. So you saw the indicator telling me I was getting close. That time I broke at 94.3. Let's do one more. That time it was at 96.1. So it looks like I'm, you know, four or five foot pounds low on my torque wrench. So I'm gonna add four foot pounds to it. Just dialed up to four more foot-pounds. And let's see what we get. Okay, so 99.9. .9. So I know that uh, my torque wrench, if I want 100 foot-pounds, which is about mid-scale, my torque wrench is about four pounds low. That's good to know. So let's see if I want to uh, say something a little bit less. Let's drop that to half. Let's drop it down to 50 foot pounds. It's got to drop down to 50 foot pounds. And let's see where we're at there. I'm not going to bother resetting the indicator. All I care about is peak hold. Forty-nine point seven. It's pretty much right on the money. Forty-nine 
46.3 so just maybe a hair low again so um, I guess with this if I need to get real exact I can dial that up a little bit a few more pounds but I can always use this too the nice thing about this adapter is I can calibrate my torque wrench or I can use a breaker bar or a ratchet as long as I stay within the torque specs of this unit I can use the audio and visual indicator to, to get my torque rating so you don't have to buy a torque wrench if you have one of these like I said these are inexpensive this one's AAA powered um, they have this one's a half inch but they have quarter and three eighths I know a lot of people already know that these exist, probably seen them on other YouTube videos or whatever, but um, it is extremely useful. And uh, I just learned something about my uh, torque wrench. So when I go out to do the lug nuts on my truck or uh, check them on my car, when I rotate my tires, I can set my proper torque and I'll probably give it three or four extra pounds on the scale. And I know that I'll be right on good to know yep just a torque adapter available on amazon under torque adapter most of them have all of the features like i said there's the info on this one again and uh It's definitely a useful tool if you have torquing to do. All right, just a quick video. Thanks for watching.